Good afternoon or good morning, wherever you're located. It's Margaret with Creative Stamping with Margaret. And today, I just want to show you how I created this Friends Are Like Seashells card. All of the details, measurements, etc. will be on my blog later uh, today. But I just wanted to give a, a little quick uh, video showing you uh, how I assembled this card. So we are using the Friends Are Like Seashells bundle, and that includes the stamp set and, of course, these dies that we'll be using. Another item that we'll be using is the Coordinating Seashells 3D Embossing Folder, and this is just a gorgeous uh, embossing folder. It's the 3D, so it gives a lot of definition. And then the materials that I'm using for the card is the card base is the Seaside Spray uh, cardstock. Now, this color is retiring. I'm not even sure the cardstock is still available since it went on clearance. But there are a lot of other colors that you can use to coordinate. Um, crumb cake would look beautiful with this as well. And then I have another piece of the Seaside Spray card stock at five and a quarter by four inches. And then this is that gorgeous pearlescent um, specialty designer series or specialty paper. And I'm not sure if you can see, but gives a little shimmer here. There's this gorgeous shimmer uh, to the seashells. And then for mounting the sentiment, I'm using very vanilla at four and a half and three and a quarter. And then the Sand and Sea Designer Series paper, four and a quarter by three inches. So my first step for this card is I like to stamp, I'm going to stamp onto the designer series paper. And for this, I'm using the stamp apparatus just to ensure that I get a good, even, straight impression. And the nice thing about the stamp apparatus is if the first time it doesn't stamp clearly or if I didn't get my stamp uh, inked well, you can always ink and go back over as long as you don't move the paper that you're stamping on. But when I stamp on designer series paper, I like to use the stamp apparatus just so that I ensure that I'm not wasting a lot of paper. Should I make a little mistake? Of course, a lot of times, mistakes are opportunities to be creative. And see, I did not get a really good impression with the two L's in Collect. So, I'm just going to go back, ink that again. And I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black. Oh, much better, much better. And another thing you could do is after you stamp this, leave it in place, go back, clean your stamp, add Versamark and clear embossing powder, and then heat emboss that to, to raise that if you want. I opted not to though for the card. So we have that. Let me pull this to the side. We can go ahead and mount this onto the very vanilla frame. Grab my stamp and seal. Should I have it? So we have that, so we can set that aside for later. 
Then the next thing I'm going to do is pull out this embossing folder and we're going to texture emboss this uh, five and a half by four inch piece of the Seaside Spray. And you'll put this in your embossing folder and then run it through your cut and emboss machine and you'll come up with this beautiful shell, seashell embossed paper. Now, the one thing that um, I hate to say we're gonna do, we're gonna cover a lot of that embossing as we use the, uh, as we add the layers to it. But as you can see on my finished card, you do see some of that peeking through, which makes it just gorgeous. And there again, we'll add our stamping seal to the back of this. You may also want to use a liquid adhesive, just whichever you feel comfortable with using um, the multi-purpose liquid adhesive. I'm just using the stamp and seal since I have it handy. So we'll position that onto our card base. And you notice this is a side opening card base. And I noticed I did not, I'm going to reach over here and get my bone folder just a moment. There. I find using the bone folder, you get just a much crisper crease by running the bone folder down where I have scored that paper. So now we have the base layer. We have also have the layer that will be mounted onto the card. We can go ahead and mount that as well. And there again, I'm using stamp and seal. And I'm just centering that on the card. So there. Now for the fun part, we're going to create these shells. And to do so, we're going to take the pearlescence paper, which is the five and three quarters. I have found the best size for this is five and three quarters by four and a quarter. And that's just to ensure that we get all of the pieces cut. And as you see, we will lay, just the first step is to lay the die from the sea, sea side seashells, that's a mouthful, sea side seashells dies onto that pearlescent and run it through your cutting and emboss machine. And then you will re come out with the piece like so. Of course, it is not texture embossed yet, so, but it's important that this is the, these are the steps that I found work best for creating and using this piece. So now we have this. Now it's time to stamp, to stamp the seashells the color that you would like. On mine, I have used for the large one, I'm using Flirty Flamingo. I'll stamp that first. And these are great because they are photopolymers, so they're, you can see where the shape is and how easily. And what I've done is, because this is such an intense color, I stamped off once. And then I'm lining that up, just stamp, hold it for, since I stamped off, I am holding it a few seconds longer 
just so that the ink transfers. And see, it gives me just this light shell color. Then the next color I'm using is the Seaside Spray. And I'm using that for the smaller shell. I don't know the names of all of these shells, so I'm just calling them all shells, which they are. So that one is Seaside Spray. Now, of course, you could use whatever color you would like to color your shells. Then for these two small shells, I am using the Sahara Sand. And you see how easily these are to stamp. Just line them up, press this down, and after I stamp them, we are going to go back and texture emboss them. So if you don't line them up perfectly, that embossing is going to hide a lot of mistakes. Or not mistakes, but being off a little. The next color I'm using for this long slender shell is uh, Soft Suede. There again, I'm going to stamp it off as it's a rather intense color. Are just just stamping the shells alone or or are gorgeous. So the next step, we will color the greenery and the seaweeds, whatever that is. I'm calling them seaweed. We will color it using our stamping blends, and I'm using the old olive. We will do that after we texture emboss and cut. So as you see, these line up perfectly once it's been die cut. The paper lines up perfectly in your embossing folder. So we're going to lay that down. I'm going to turn, flip it over. You can see it's all lined up. I'm going to quickly run it through the stamp and emboss machine. And now, voila, we have the textured paper that we have stamped, cut, cut and stamped. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, you could use this as is and just lay it over a card to make a simple card and add a little sentiment. There's so many options with this. So the next step is to take your little paper snips and now we're just gonna start trimming and cutting off the seashells that you'd like to use. I've used all of the seashells on my card. You could opt to use fewer save those other shells for another card or place place one on the inside of your card just you see how easily it is to just take those paper snips and trim around these shells
And so for this shell, I've decided to leave the greenery attached to that shell. It just makes it a little easier when I lay this out, this piece I don't need. Now we're going to continue cutting. Just get all of these disconnected. Oops. And for this blue, the shell that I did in the seaside spray color, I am going to leave some of the greenery attached to it. I think I'll just leave, I'll trim this spray off, but I'll save that. I might use that later, get these trimmed up. See how easily that just snips off? And then we'll pull the other shell off. And on some, I get if you get them just a little square, just go back with your scissors and trim around to soften those edges. I think I'm gonna leave this piece on here today. Just show you how you can do a variety of colors. And now, just real simple, I'm taking my light Old Olive Stamping Blends and just coloring, coloring this greenery. So that it adds a pop of green. Of course, I'm not sure what color seaweed. It comes in different colors, I guess. And there's a lot of different types of greenery and weeds in the ocean. So we can make them any. The nice thing about stamping, you can make them any color you want, whether it's the true color or not. But this pearlescence paper is just gorgeous. And I'm going to round this corner here where it's a little square where I snipped. It just takes care of that. And then the last one that has some greenery on it, I'm just... You see how quickly this colors. It just takes no time at all to pull this together. So now we can start assembling. And what I did first is just sort of play around with the placement of how I would like them to lay. I knew I wanted the big shell propped up. So I think that's how we'll do this. This first one. I'm just going to use stamp and seal to play to put it in place. And as you see, I'm dropping it down and off of the piece that has the sentiment on it. I think that looks good like that. So let's bump this one up with Stamping dimensionals. Pull the back off and to the side here. I did not bring my trash can over, so I'll have fun cleaning all those backings to these after I'm through. It's funny, I have found these in the strangest places in my house after I've been crafting for the day. So 
So we'll lay, place this here. And we'll go back and add the blue shell. And I am going to pull in my Tombow and just add a couple little drops of it along this greenery to hold it down. There, like so. And then I'm going to take the smaller shell here and I'm just going to add it under under the edge of that blue shell. Turn it off to the side. You know, as always, just sort of play with the placement of these and how you would like it. Now I see this blue one, the pink is poking out, so I pushing that so it has a smoother edge there. And then we'll add this last shell, and I think one dimensional on the back of it should be sufficient. And we'll just place it as so. And the card is gorgeous just as is. And I actually, when I first made the my card, I left it like that, but then the more I looked at it, the more I decided that I would add some of the opal rounds to it. So for the placement of those, I'm taking the smaller and just placing some around on the card. And as I place them, a couple, I'm tucking down right around the shells and tucking some even in the greenery that's along, whoops, I missed the adhesive on that one. Let me get one that I don't leave the adhesive behind. I'm not, do not have my take my pick tool handy. So using the scissors, it makes it through a little bit harder. And I think, I think I'll stick one down here, tuck down here. So there, there we have the friends are like seashells card. Hope you've enjoyed this video. There again, if you want all the details, check out my blog, Creative Stamping with Margaret. I will have all of the dimensions and the materials that I've used on that site. Thank you.